that everything seems to be a little bit better now. Uh, the machine you're looking at is a PC over IP this display to a virtual desktop running XP in just north of uh, Palo Alto in California. Um, so we'll see how good the <laughs> numbers VDI initiative is today, I hope. You know? um, my name is Donald Farrell. I was with VM for about six years um, in the performances here in group uh, support, first of all, and uh, I wound up in IT, uh, deploying a lot of this stuff. Um, I left VM last year to a former consulting company with a bunch of guys um, called Cloudland Computing and we do most of our work on the vCloud APIs and um, vCloud itself and some of the bigger vSphere deployments. Um, but that's, that's me I guess. Uh, the reason I came here today is to just demonstrate a bit of the value proposition of the end review. Uh, we're going to concentrate on the 4.6 release. Uh, we can talk more about the earlier releases of BDM and view 4 and view 3 but 4.6 is what we'll actually see. Um, I wouldn't really call it a view masterclass in a way because I, I like to talk more about the architecture of uh, the view environment, meaning the underlying VI infrastructure as well. But we'll definitely see a lot of view. We'll talk a lot about what it takes to build modular architectures using um, the kind of a pod concept. But uh, the first thing I want to find out is who, who here uses VMware uh, on the desktop, being view or workstation or any of those things? Oh, good. All right. Um, what about the server? VI, yeah, Eastern? Okay. Anybody use Citrix um, Zen Desktop on PC? Okay, so there's a pretty good mix. Anybody not have anything got, got to do with you? This is starting to look good already. Okay, um, I'm, I don't know how to speak very well on Citrix or um, Microsoft protocols. I, I respect them, I don't know what about them, but um, I, I wouldn't be able to, I suppose, talk on a competitive level. Than, um, I, that's probably not what we're here for anyway. So I just try to show you through um, my, my presentation on what view is, PC over IP, um, and then we'll take a small break, and when we come back, we'll build out a new environment and apply a couple of desktop tools and maybe see some 10 app and stuff, okay? Um, questions, welcome anytime. Uh, if you, you don't have to refine the question to a view, you can ask about vSphere or vCloud, anything you want. Um, let's try to keep it interactive if you want to stop me anytime, no problem. By the way, I don't know the answer to everything, but I'll, I'll try to send you an email afterwards if there's a question that occurs. Okay. Just, just yeah, no problem. Um, so that, that's me. Anyway. Um, the first thing is the value proposition of you. Everybody here knows why it's 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 it's, it's beneficial to buy desktops from the data center. Right? You have a decrease your TCO. It's easier to manage things. Um, disaster recovery, policy-based management, all that kind of stuff. Right? I don't think we need to talk much about the business value. Right? Um, the first couple of slides were shot from a VMware product manager. Um, I'll just jump off these and then I'll this. Can, can you move up a little bit there? Yep. Yeah. 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 With the notebook, yes. Okay. Okay. I'm here. Just, just a bit louder, okay? Yep. Yeah. I think we'll leave the um, demonstration for a bit later, Dave. That might be some good things. PC over IP, right? That's the, the default um, display protocol with VMware View.6. Mm -hmm. um, before that, it would, would have been you had PC over IP support, but um, a lot of people would have used RDP. If you use the security server feature of View, um, all your PC over IP connections would be broken to that server, and um, the, the, the View security server will do the integration with, view, uh, with the View connection server. Uh, the incoming connections uh, from your clients. Internet bound clients will talk directly to the view security server and not to the view connection server, and they can never talk to the, the virtual desktop itself. So, basically, the way it works is that incoming connections will only ever talk to the um, security server, and the security server will broker through the connection server and talk to the view agent within the view's virtual desktop. Um, prior to that, you'd need to use an SSL VPN connection. Um, the reason that VMware chose not to do that was because the PC over IP is UDP based. 
and it kind of wouldn't make sense to turn it over HTTPS connection. So um, that's the, the, I suppose, the, the business logic behind the um, PC over IP security gateway, which is a feature of the security server in 4.6. How many users can that phone handle? Uh, each security server do 2,000 users. Uh, you can have a maximum. The, the way most people who do big deployments will do this is they'll set their um, maximum PDI architecture to support the maximum number of connections of the VSAN or something, which is 10,000 um, concurrent managed VMs. So that will require you to have at least five security servers, so five by two, and the way that's done is by using the record dev mode of the connection server. So you probably want to deploy more than five for redundancy, but um, one of the larger banks in the UK did 12,000 users across two VSAN servers and use some like 18 connection workers and 18 security servers. Can you see a little bit more? Yeah, no problem. Um, I just jump through the rest of this. So PC over IP is designed for um, personal desktops. The software implementation that VMware uses is um, is primarily geared for the, the VDI architecture. It's a joint development effort between VMware and um, Teradigi, who are the inventors of the protocol itself. There also are hardware implementations. Um, I've not seen anybody use them in, in view yet, but uh, the hardware implementation uses a PCIe card. Um, in a, a Blade PC, or uh, I don't know, there's, there's, there's plenty of them. Some of the thin clients that um, the VIEW um, HCL supports also do some hardware acceleration of their own, but most of the people I've seen deploy VIEW in any big sort of fashion will actually use the, the software version. Um, that's what I was actually using myself. Uh, the innovation in PC over IP that all the, the, re the rendering is done at a host, so basically uh, that doesn't interfere with network latency or anything like that. Um, <coughs> so basically it uses lossy and lossless image compression. Um, lossy most of the time if the bandwidth falls below a certain rate, I think it's one megabit per second, we go back to using uh, lossless. And the way it works is that PC over IP will try to eat as much of the available bandwidth as possible. Um, I think it needs 128 kilobits per second to, to start an initial connection for um, session management, that type of thing. But it will actually exhaust um, any DSL connection uh, if, the, <coughs> if the user experience requires it. So if you run a lot of flash, a lot of multimedia applications, you actually see that your um, bandwidth is being used quite heavily. It will throttle back as more uh, PC over AP connections come online. So if you have a small office environment with a, just a basic DSL package and you want to run five or six U um, desktops, go back to your data center. Um, According as people log on, you see the bandwidth um, on your on your DSL rather kind of fluctuate, but it uh, eventually balance out if people are using the same type of, um, of applications from the, the virtual desktop. So, again, we'll, we'll take a look at another point. Again, it's, it's UDP based. Um, it does a lot of uh, image compression. It can get up to about 100 to 1 compression ratios, so that's generally better than the, the hardware based. Um, Low balances, that kind of stuff that people would put in front of their, um, their corporate firewall. Um, I'm going to move on to. You see, so you say it doesn't make any sense to have any. Are there, are there any any round scalers who would you do, who would compress the the, the protocol? You, meaning, would you still use uh, hardware based protocol implementations? Probably not, unless you have uh, once you use using PC over IP and another one's using over IP. You could probably do it with that like, but. Um, Generally, like the, the environment we built at VMware, um, there was zero um, hardware acceleration, while acceleration in the way it was just, um, so the way it works is everybody in VMware, um, across I think all departments at the moment, would have um, PC over IP based desktops if they're working from home, um, or if they're working from the client side. Um, I guess they kind of eat their own dog with that kind of stuff. Um, so there are no one accelerators in the way, it's kind of a, a way of showing that the usability is, is quite good for PC over IP. This is the, I suppose, the high-level architecture of uh, View 4.6. So um, you can see the guy at the top here. The View Connection Server is where the incoming PC, <coughs> sorry, the incoming HTTPS connections will come into. Um, PC over IP as well. So the, the actual no, no, it's, it's, it's um, So below that you have the connection server or the connection broker, and that will talk over SOAP to a vCenter server. Um, it will also talk to AD. Um, the way it works is that the PC over IP connections will hit the view security server first and then they'll drop it back into the, the view agent inside each virtual desktop. 
And there is some translation of the, the protocol. So there's a PC over P will always stay the same. ODP will funnel into um, AJP for D and I think HTTPS stays the same. Um, so the components, that, there's not much to view actually, it's just three or four applications you can install. So the first one is the connection server itself. Uh, you can deploy view without any connection, without any security server, even, uh, if you have an internal only network. Um, connection server basically is the guy that talks to the vCenter server. Uh, it does the provisioning, it does the entitlement management for uh, users to connect the personal desktops. Um, you can assign can applications directly from view manager as of 4.5. Um, so that saves you having to do a lot of GPO work yourself. Um, you can also set a whole lot of different policies and settings, so you can control the flash um, throttling of each uh, view desktop in a VM. You can set single sign-on policies, all that kind of stuff. You can also well, select um, how many monitors each virtual desktop can have, and if the user can change that on the, from the client side, or what's the default to have display protocol using. So PC over P is default. Uh, RDP would be another one. I think if you have um, HP um, Blade PCs in your environment, there's a HTS protocol. Um, if the text that those are present, you, you'd be allowed to use that as well. Would you virtualize that connection? Absolutely, system? yeah. Um, most of the people I've, I've worked with, um, everything uh, is first. So, um, actually, good question. A lot of people will have a separate architecture for their entire um, VDI, meaning a separate vCenter server, a um, separate ESX host, the connection server will be virtualized on the same host. So what they do is generally people will make a resource pool for their <coughs> VDI infrastructure and um, separate resource pools then for the, the, the new desktops. Now, of course, you can also use the production vCenter server as well. Um, it kind of depends on the, the scale of the environment, like if you're just using 500 um, VDI desktops are crap. You have a VCenter server already, it might make financial sense to do that with the cost of the VCenter versus the thing, you know. But um, most environments I've worked with, um, everything apart from the security servers in one environment were not um, virtualized. Uh, the reason I think that they didn't virtualize that security server was because they were running a 4.0 instead of a 4.1 environment, and uh, Windows 2008. Um, Monitor mode was uh, in experimental support back then, so they used the physical machines. But it wouldn't make much difference anyway. Uh, if you size the environment properly, um, for all each of the components, it, it really doesn't matter. And I like to think that the virtualizing implementation will offer you better um, HA, residency, the all those type of things, you know. Um, again, it doesn't matter. Everything can be physical, everything can be virtual, and it makes it makes a massive piece. The view agent is uh, 32 or 64 with application that gets installed inside the, um, I suppose let's call it the master uh, image of the virtual desktop that you're going to pair up and virtualize. Um, <coughs> it handles the <coughs> connection monitoring, uh, virtual printing, or thin print if you want to do that, and it also provides the access to locally connected USB devices. The view manager. Is a web application which we're going to look at in a second, and that's where you basically do the administration tasks from. So you set policies, all that kind of stuff. Basically, uh, interfacing directly with the view connection worker. The view client is um, what I had open just a couple of minutes ago before things started to go belly up. Um, that's the 32 or 64 bit application that sits on your desktop and provides the PC over P or RDP based connection into your view desktop in your data center. Uh, the view portal is uh, just a website. It's the IP address of the security server or the connection broker where you can go to download the view client and install it on your, your local machine. Um, it uh, also has an LLAP directory, uh, quite small, um, not very um, ornate, like this. there's not much to it. It borrows heavily from Active Directory as well. Uh, you can go through that in the presentation if you want. The big innovation in VDI or VMware's version of VDI is the composer. Um, that's the guy that does the link clones. Um, so, <coughs> does anybody here know what link clones are, first of all? Do you use them in that manager or VCloud or anything like that? Okay. So, it's kind of like snapshots on steroids, basically. What it is is you have um, your, 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 your regular VMware based snapshot of the first machine. Um, so, that plus the, the snapshot itself becomes a replica. The replica then is what you use uh, in each pool of view desktops. And from the replica, we use something called a copy and write read file. Um, I think the same thing exists in Citrix terminal, actually. Um, yeah. Um, so basically, each virtual desktop in a pool will be using the, the parent disk 